And a very pleasant good evening, basketball fans, and welcome to the playoffs. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on MyBasin.com and 1150 and 92.9 KAGO. We're coming to you live from Lost River High School in Merrill, Oregon, as the Lost River Raiders take on the Perrydale Pirates. Glad to be with you. I'm Josh Eldridge, Matt Bowling by my side tonight. A trip to the Elite Eight at Baker High School on the line tonight as a couple of squads do battle both looking to get back there for uh, the first time in a long time we're going to take a look at the full bracket as we continue your pregame coverage as well as a look at each of the seasons that both of these teams have had so far of course starting lineups and tip off as we continue your coverage of the OSAA on point community credit union 1A boys basketball state playoffs on 1150 929 KAGO and mybasin.com Sports was kind of what defined me as a person. I loved to play uh, every sport I could possibly play. The Abbey's was really the family stomping ground for all of our community. Saturday afternoon, soccer tournaments, we'd head over to Abbey's afterwards. And then when we got up into middle school, on our way home, we'd stop at Abbey's after basketball games. When I go home, I want to see two things when I drive through Winston. I want to see my Abbey's, and I want to see my high school. And those are the two memories that stick out the most to me. Threads. There are many threads that run through our region. There are churches and schools and little league teams that bring us together and bind us into communities. There are roads and cars. There are houses and jobs and businesses, all woven together to make the fabric of our communities. There are financial threads that are part of that tapestry as well. For over 80 years, it's been our pleasure to be headquartered here providing financial services to generations of our friends and neighbors. From that first savings account, to retirement planning, and all of the cars and houses and groceries in between, we keep your money local, investing it back into our communities, adding more threads to the fabric to make our community stronger. Pacific Crest Federal Credit Union, find your path. Introducing Smith Bates Marcom Solutions, your trusted partner in marketing and communication. We specialize in crafting compelling campaigns, eye-catching graphics, and impactful branding materials. Smith Bates is like working with dependable friends. They always help us build our professional image. Through the innovative strategies that the team at Smith Bates suggested, we've been able to give the brand at Calor the boost that it desperately needed. Unlock your potential with Smith Bates Marcom Solutions. Welcome back to the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150-92.9 KAGO and of course on MyBasin.com as we take just a quick look now at the full bracket and uh, all of the other games going on around the state. Uh, trying to get it up for you on the video stream but uh, for those of you listening uh, we've also got one other Basin team still alive in this bracket. Bonanza on the other side. They're taking on top-seeded defending state champion Crane. Uh, that game got started a little while ago. Don't have a score update, unfortunately, but they tipped off about 5.30. Uh, Union against Falls City and Kings Valley Charter on the other side of the bracket as well. Uh, we've also got Dufer and Cross Hill Christian. That's another uh, Casco League opponent for uh, Perrydale. Cross Hill Christian finished second out of that conference. We'll talk a little bit more about that later on uh, Trinity Lutheran from the Mountain Valley League still alive in the postseason they're taking on Spray Mitchell Wheeler that co-op uh, the 20 seed coming into the postseason uh, they survived their first round matchup making it uh, to the second round they played tonight uh, actually tipped off about 20 minutes ago tipping off at 7 30 tonight Elkton takes on Open Door Christian Academy in the second round uh, North Douglas, a, a former opponent of Lost River who beat them earlier in the season, has taken on Sherman tonight. There's broadcast coverage available on that one on my base, or pardon me, on OSAA.org. Uh, that game tipped off uh, about 50 minutes ago, so uh, probably getting ready for the third quarter over there at Sherman. If you want to check out some of that, uh, follow along there. Uh, on the other side of our bracket, Nick Uwe has taken on Valor Christian, and they will play the winner of the match that we see right in front of us uh, in just about 10 minutes. Lost River taking on Perrydale. Now, the Raiders got here courtesy of an 83-49 to victory over Echo. That was back on Tuesday. They were led by 22 points from Chase McAuliffe, 21 
from Freeman and uh, were able to really get past Echo with no problem. Meantime, Perrydale, they had a, uh, a real close game, 57 to 55 over 23 seed Adrian, almost upset in the first round, but they were able to pull it out behind 18 points from Connor Gra uh, Graber and 15 from their 6-7 post, Lucas Thorson. They find themselves about five hours south. If you don't know where Perrydale is, they're, uh, well, they're, they're right up north of Salem, uh, kind of near Amity, Oregon. Again, just about five hours uh, north of where we are here in Merrill, Oregon. We're going to take a deeper look at each of these two teams after one more break here on the pregame show. And uh, after that, we should be getting closer to starting lineups and tip-off tonight uh, from Lost River High School. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on MyBasin.com at 1150 and 92.9. K-A-G-O. The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends, how to fit in, how to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 120,000 participants here in Oregon who take part in high school sports or activities. Back with you at Lost River High School for the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball State Playoffs. MyBasin.com, 1150 92.9 KAGO. Thank you for being with us wherever in the state you might be watching or listening from. Be sure you spread the word that uh, tonight's broadcast is, of course, free on MyBasin.com. Want to give a shout out to the Lost River Boosters who helped us get on the air tonight uh, and um, helping us. We'll get the rights to be able to be on the air tonight. So uh, if you want some more information on them, you can visit uh, Lost River's website and uh, possibly make a donation to the Booster Club. Again, thanks to all those folks for helping us get on tonight. Let's take a look at each of the two teams that are playing this evening, starting with the home team, the Lost River Raiders. Uh, and again, for those of you watching, we'll get the, the bracket up on the screen for you right now. And as we talk about these teams, you can see Lost River, the seventh seed coming into tonight. 22-4 and four overall record. Their only losses on the season are to the top-ranked Crane team, defending state champion. Also, number 11, North Douglas. And they lost to Trinity Lutheran a pair of times, once in the regular season and once a week ago tonight in the Mountain Valley League tournament. They're scoring about 64 and a half points per game, allowing just over 37 points per game. Their defense is uh, best in the Mountain Valley League, top five in the state of Oregon at the 1A level. That is where this team makes their bread and butter. They like to score inside and they defend really well. They're still searching for their first state title in school history, though. The last time they made it that far was in 1998 under coach Ray Struve. He's now the head coach of the Bonanza Lady Antlers. That season they lost to Napa 78 to 53. That was as close as the Raiders ever got to tasting that glory, trying to get back to the Elite Eight tournament and a chance uh, at that for the first time since 2019. Although when they made it back then in 2019, they were a two-way school, uh, just two and through at that tournament though, couldn't collect a win. Now playing at the 1A level, trying to get back to the tournament. They will return to 2A next year, though. So really, their only opportunity to go to Baker High School, which is the site of the 1A tournament next weekend. Let's take a look now at the Perrydale Pirates. They come to us from the Casco League. They are league champions. They absolutely dominated their league championship game against Cross Hill Christian 77 to 55. They don't score as much and they don't defend as, at, as a good as a clip as Lost River. Uh, 59 points per game in the scoring column. They're allowing uh, just about 47 points per game is the Perrydale Pirates. Uh, as far as their league goes, their offense and defense ranked second behind Cross Hill Christian, but just goes to show you what kind of a, a grindy team this might turn out to be. They beat that team that, uh, well, again, ranked ahead of them in offense and defense, and they absolutely blasted them in the league championship game. To get here, they beat Adrian 57 to 55. Again, we mentioned 18 points from Connor Graber, 15 from Lucas Thorson in that game. And they are also 
searching for their first league title, or pardon me, uh, state title in school history. They are trying to get back to the Elite Eight tournament for the first time since 2017. It's been quite the drought for the Pirates, uh, but again, only, only one of these schools will be able to make the trip to Baker High School. Each of these teams both equally hot coming into tonight's game as well. Perrydale, winners of 12 of their last 13 games. Lost River, winners of nine of their last 10. Their only loss coming in that league championship game back on Saturday to Trinity Lutheran. And uh, Matt, you were there for that game and uh, we've seen Lost River a couple of times this season. They're an interesting bunch for a 1A school. They've got some good athletes, Chase McAuliffe, Connor Dunley, and uh, seeing them on the shoot around, everyone looks ready to go. Yeah, no doubt about it, Lost River, as you said, going for their first state tournament since 2019. It would be the first under head coach Brad Johnson. He's a Lost River alum. It's his second season as head coach. Uh, last, <clears throat> He led Lost River to the state tournament as a player during his senior year in 2003. That was also the last time they won back-to-back, -back, or excuse me, the last time they had back-to-back 20-win -back seasons. He's now achieved that here as the head coach in his first two seasons, but definitely going to be challenging next year going back up to 2A, losing guys like Chase McAuliffe and Connor Dunley. So um, probably hoping to take full advantage uh, of this last run through the 1A bracket. Yeah, no doubt he had mentioned, uh, you know, having made that trip to the uh, tournament all those years ago that he wants to give these kids the same opportunity. We had the chance to catch up with Coach Brad Johnson and uh, Connor Dunley, a Lost River player, a couple of weeks ago on our show, Ballin' in the Basin. Both seemed highly motivated, and uh, this team plays a, a good defensive brand of basketball. We mentioned that a little bit. They are a top-five team in the state in terms of defensive points allowed, but everyone on their team averaging at least two steals. I mean, this team just gets in the way of the passing lanes. They make it difficult for the other team. Yeah, this is a great two-way squad. I mean, you mentioned they beat Echo 83-49 on Tuesday. That 83 is their most points of the season. Really great bounce back from that loss in the Mountain Valley League Championship game, 69-56 to Trinity Lutheran last Saturday. And that was a close game. I mean, it, it, was. Was, it was closer than, well, it was close for the first half at least, but... Things kind of did get away from them a little bit in the third quarter. I mean, Trinity Lutheran has some legit athletes. One of their guys has a Division One offer from Washington State for football. So at that level, just sheer athleticism can go a really long way, and I think we saw that in that game. Lost River certainly has some athletes themselves, and we'll see them on the hardwood tonight, but Perrydale all the same. A 6-7 post is the guy to look out for, Lucas Thorson. Uh, he's a guy who can definitely fill up the cup for Perrydale, and of course, you know the names from Lost River, Chase McAuliffe, Connor Dunley, the guys to look out for tonight after the National Anthem. We'll be back. The OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball State Playoffs. Reds. There are many threads that run through our region. There are churches and schools and little league teams that bring us together and bind us into communities. There are roads and cars. There are houses and jobs and businesses, all woven together to make the fabric of our communities. There are financial threads that are part of that tapestry as well. For over 80 years, it's been our pleasure to be headquartered here, providing financial services to generations of our friends and neighbors. From that first savings account, to retirement planning, and all of the cars and houses and groceries in between, we keep your money local, investing it back to our communities, adding more threads to the fabric to make our community stronger. Pacific Crest Federal Credit Union, find your path. Just about ready for starting lineups tonight at Lost River High School, the site of the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball State Playoffs. Let's start with the starting five for the visiting Perrydale Pirates. A senior, standing six foot tall, number one, Brody Cruikshank. Number four, a senior, standing five foot ten, Brandon Lux. 
Number 10, a senior standing six foot tall, Connor Graber. Number 15, a senior standing six foot tall, Eric Denka. And number 23, a senior standing six foot seven, Lucas Thorson. The Perrydale Pirates are coached by Brian Domes and assisted by Daniel Domes. Now time to meet the starting five for the Lost River Raiders. Starting a senior, number one, Emmett O'Brien. Number four, a junior, Tate Freeman. Number 23, a senior, Connor Dunley. Number 33, another senior, Chase McAuliffe. And number 40, a junior, Caden Hartman. The Lost River Raiders are coached by Brad Johnson and he's assisted by Ryan Freeman. Want to mention one thing before we get going here, Josh. Perry Dale also traveled to Lost River for the state quarterfinals in football this fall. They lost that game 49 to 14. The Pirates have seven players from that football team on this basketball team. I'm sure they'd like to have, have some level of revenge here tonight. Shake hands at midcourt between Connor Dunley and Thorson. And we are just about ready for basketball tonight. Thank you again for being with us on 1150-92.9 KAGO and MyBasin.com. It'll be Perrydale who controls the opening tip. They go from left to right across your radio dial. Graber has it, top of the key, guarded by Hartman. Lost River opening up in a 2-3 zone on defense. Graber shoves it over to Cruikshank. Has it top of the key, now back to Graber on the near side. Tries to get it down low, but it's tipped away by McAuliffe. And here come the Raiders in their home white uniforms tonight. Perrydale wearing their road black apparel. Here's Freeman with it in the far corner. Gets it top of the key to Hartman. Dumps it down low to McAuliffe. Throws it off the glass, won't go. Rebound out of bounds. And Lost River maintaining possession. It'll be McAuliffe to inbound at the baseline. Gets it to Freeman in the far corner. Top of the key now to Dunley. Dumping it to McAuliffe at the free throw line. Gets it to Freeman down on the right block. Throws one off the glass. Bounces around the rim and falls. Lost River and Freeman with the opening bucket of the ball game. They lead 2-0. 7-10 to go in the first. Pass into the front court. Taken away by the Raiders. McAuliffe ahead to Dunley on the right wing. Now driving baseline. Going to work against Graber. Tries to get it to McAuliffe, but it's picked away by Perrydale. Bringing it up the floor on the far side is Graber. Graber going to hand it off to Cruikshank. Dishes it over now to Danka. Cross court heave to Graber in the near side. Fires a triple that rattles home and Perrydale responds with their first lead of the night. 6.38 to go in the first. There was O'Brien trying to get it over to Freeman. Tipped out of bounds and Last touched by the Pirates, I believe. And looks like we've got a, a conversation with the officials early. Time to remind you that as the title sponsor of the OSAA State Championship, On Point does everything it can to help our team and community get ahead. On Point delivers the local banking and lending its members need to reach their goals and make more possible. Visit On Point at onpointcu.com. On Point is federally insured by the NCUA Equal Housing Opportunity. All right, it looks like we've got everything down on the floor settled and it will be the Raiders who inbound in front of the Pirates bench. Here's Freeman with it. Up top of the key to O'Brien, now to McAuliffe on the near side. McAuliffe dishes it over to Freeman. Steps into a long three and he drills it. Don't see Freeman extend range like that too often. But he gives Lost River back the lead. Five to three, six ten to go in the first. Raiders starting to press a little bit on defense as Graber brings it into the front court. Kicks it over to Crookshank. Now he shoves it over to Danka. Now back to Crookshank on the left wing. Again, a cross-court pass. Perrydale moving around the perimeter. It's Graber with the top of the key. Passes it near side to Danka for a three. No good. Graber follows the shot with the rebound and a floater from 12 falls down. Five even. 5.45 to go in the first. Here's Lost River. It's Freeman with it on the far side. Dribbles inside the perimeter. Now kicks it out to O'Brien. Near side, McAuliffe. 
McAuliffe head of the key to Dunley. Thought about a triple, gets rid of it to Hartman, now over to O'Brien. O'Brien to McAuliffe as he brings it out beyond the perimeter, guarded by Thorson. Now to Dunley, kicks it to Hartman. Lost River going around the horn. Here's Dunley for a catch and shoot three, top of the key, back iron no good, and the rebound collected by Thorson. He shoves it ahead to Graber as Perry Dale comes the other way. Kick in the near side to Lux, back to Graber. Bouncing it to Crookshank. And now over to Thorson. He fires a triple. Front iron no good. Rebound batted out of bounds by McAuliffe. And so the Pirates maintain possession. Tied up at five with five minutes to go in the first. Perrydale's got it. Inbounding at the baseline. Crookshank quick bounce to Graber. Goes up with the shot and is fouled. He'll be heading to the line for a pair. Well, today's broadcast on MyBasin.com brought to you by Les Schwab Tires. Having the right set of tires and wheels on your vehicle is just part of an essential safety checklist. That's why Les Schwab does more than install just tires and wheels. Come on in for a free pre-trip safety check. They're going to make sure that everything is in working order at Les Schwab Tires. First free throw good from Graber. Clanks the second one off the front of the rim. So the score 6-5 with 4.57 to go in the first. Perrydale in front of Lost River here early. And here comes Caden Hartman. Hartman near side to O'Brien, shoves it to McAuliffe, driving baseline against Thorson, beats him to the cut, but he travels on the drive. A turnover, costly one, even in the first quarter. The Raiders pressing a bit on defense, as it'll be Crookshank trying to get it ahead to Lux. Tipped out of bounds by the Raiders, and Perrydale to inbound in front of Lost River's bench. Crookshank with it, kicks it near side to Danka, back to Crookshank, quick pass inside to Thorson, right elbow jumper's no good. And it'll be Hartman to bring it up for Lost River, over to Dunley on the far side. Dunley tries to find Freeman, cutting to the rim and does, and he's fouled on the shot. Collision under the rim results in free throws for Tate Freeman. He's been all the offense for Lost River so far. A two-point field goal and a triple are all of Lost River's five points, and now Freeman gets his first look at the line. His first is no good. Still an opportunity to tie it with four and a half to go in the first. And he can't tie it. Rebound is collected by Perry Dale. Coming up is Danka. Kicks it over to Graber. Graber to Crookshank. Now back near side to Danka. Dumping it inside to Thorson. Head fakes a free throw line jumper. Kicks it back outside to Danka. Top of the key to Crookshank. Down to Thorson. Thorson trying to go to work against McAuliffe. Moving around the big man, but a foul called against McAuliffe. The groans from the Lost River supporters. Hard to blame them after that whistle. And that will go against McAuliffe. It's his first, Lost River's second of the opening frame. And the Pirates to inbound at the baseline, lofting it tall to Crookshank. Back to Graber. Graber brings it around on the right, on the, uh, right wing, left unguarded for a moment, but shoves it to Crookshank. Back to Graber, left unguarded again from range. Hits the front of the rim, no good. Perrydale collects their own rebound. Graber has it again, kicks it over to Denka. He takes a long triple, back iron, no good again. This time a rebound again wrestled for and won by the Pirates. It's Crookshank with it now on the left side. Gets the defenders to jump and travels trying to step to the rim. Raiders bailed out there after a couple of missed defensive rebounds. But they will bring it up the floor. It'll be Dunley who crosses the timeline for Lost River. Kicks it near side to O'Brien. To McAuliffe in the near side. Hartman now top of the key to Dunley. Dunley ball high above his head, over to O'Brien, throws it to McAuliffe. McAuliffe steps into a triple from the right side, no good. Dunley with the rebound, brings it back out beyond the arc, and the Raiders slow down. All five players outside the arc before McAuliffe steps in, ball over to Hartman on the right wing. Finds Dunley coming off a screen, thought about a three, driving inside, kicks it out to McAuliffe. He's open from range, that one rims out. 
Rebound collected by Hartman. He throws it back to McCullough. Driving inside. Kicks it out to Freeman. Now he drives baseline. High off the glass. It's in. And the foul for Tate Freeman. Gives the Raiders back the lead. 7-6. to six, Under three minutes to go in the first. And another opportunity at the line for Freeman. He's 0 for 2 thus far. The free throw up and in. Two point lead for the Raiders, eight to six. 2.52 to go in the first. And Perrydale having a little bit of trouble getting the ball into the front court. Finally finds its way to Donka. Now back to Graber. Graber top of the key to Cruikshank. Now look pass near side to Donka. Back to Cruikshank. He shoves it over to Graber. Graber guarded by Dunley on the left side. Gets it into Lux. Now back outside to Cruikshank. Lux in the far corner. Top of the key now to Denka. Denka puts it on the deck. Dribbles to the right. Takes a three. No good. And the Raiders with the rebound. Hartman shoving it ahead to Freeman. He races the floor. Brings it back out. Tries to find McAuliffe cutting to the cup. An errant pass and a turnover for Lost River. Lost River, just a little bit of a press as the ball moves up the floor. Here's Graber, getting it ahead to Donka, into the front court, back to Graber. Graber trying to direct some traffic, top of the key, throws it over to Crookshank, shoves it to Lux in the far corner. Lost River still in a 2-3 zone look, allowing some perimeter looks for Perrydale as they pass it around the perimeter. Here's Crookshank, passing it over to Donka. Donka driving inside, terminates the dribble from about 10 feet out, goes up with the shot, no good, but Thorson is there for the rebound and the putback. Tied up at eight with 1.34 left to go in the first. Here's Freeman now. Freeman over to Hartman. Now Dunley. Dunley to O'Brien. Now to McAuliffe. Lost River's done a good job of finding the soft spots in Perrydale's defense so far. Dunley. Driving inside, kicking it outside to Hartman. He pulls from three, no good. O'Brien with the rebound, back out to Hartman. His second look rims out again. And O'Brien with the rebound, he's fouled on the putback. And good work on the glass by the senior, Emmett O'Brien, to earn two trips to the line. The first opportunity for points for a Raider not named Tate Freeman. This will be O'Brien's first trip to the line. Tries to break the tie and can't on the first free throw. Outside shots aren't quite falling for Lost River early, but they're doing a great job around the rim, whether, whether that's getting the offensive boards or crashing the glass in this case and a couple times before earning a trip to the free throw line. O'Brien's second free throw, also no good. McAuliffe with the rebound. Underhand dish to Freeman is blocked. Loose ball underneath the cup and a held ball. Possession going to the Raiders. One minute even to go in the first quarter. Tied up at eight, a low scoring affair so far. Hartman lofting it tall to O'Brien. Throws it over to Freeman. Freeman puts it on the deck, driving inside, spins around. His shot from 10 feet left short. Rebound is collected by Graber. The Pirates come the other way. Here's Graber. Now near side to Danka. Back to Graber. Graber guarded by Hartman. Back to Danka in the near corner. Puts it on the deck, throws it over to uh, Graber. Now inside to Thorson. Right elbow jumper again no good from Thorson. And Emmett O'Brien with the rebound. Shoves it ahead to Hartman, but it'll be O'Brien who crosses the timeline for the Raiders. 25 seconds to go in the first, and the shot clock is off. Tied at eight. McAuliffe with it. Now O'Brien to Dunley. Dunley kicks it over to Hartman. Finds McAuliffe with a nice move to the rim, and he throws it down at the cup. Three seconds to get a shot off for Perry Dale. A half court heave won't go for Graber. And the Raiders take a two point lead to the second quarter. The OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150 and 929 KAGO and mybasin.com. Second quarter action is next.
Comfortable and not corporate. At Clownful Subaru, we built our business on that simple promise. Well, that and some of the best people you're ever going to meet. Hi, I'm Rob Cedar, General Manager at Clownfall Subaru. Our 62 employees make it easy for us to live up to our comfortable, not corporate philosophy. Friendly faces, easy answers, straight talk, fairness, and exceptional service. These are the things you expect. These are the things that all of our people deliver. Our management team, sales pros, certified service and body shop techs, lot attendants, and detail experts are all 100% focused on you. Local people putting their friends and neighbors first. At Clown Falls Subaru, that's the only way we do business. It's comfortable, not corporate. Our team members also spend hundreds of hours each year supporting local charities and events through the Subaru Love Promise. That's the kind of people they are. We're very proud of them. They're your friends, they're your neighbors, they're glad to know you, and they want you to be glad to know them. Back with you at Lost River High School for the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs. Josh Eldridge and Matt Bowling with you right now. Lost River in front of Perrydale. 10-8 in the second round playoff matchup. It'll be the Perrydale Pirates who start with the ball coming out of the break. Pass comes to Lux in the near side. Back over to Graber in the near corner to Lux. Both teams having trouble shooting from distance in that first quarter. Here's Lux. Lux throws it over to Donka, dumps it down low to Thorson. Free throw line jumper, too strong. Rebound ripped away by O'Brien. Here come the Raiders. O'Brien kicks it to McCollum, shoves it to Freeman in the far corner. Finds Hartman, head of the key. Hartman now to O'Brien, now to Dunley. Lost River's been taking their time. This time Freeman just chucks up a three, won't go. Perrydale throws it into the front court. Graber kicks it over to Thorson. A mid-range jumper is true that time for Thorson. He ties this thing up at 10 with just under seven minutes to go in the first half. Freeman has the ball ripped away from him. Perrydale falls on it. It's still kind of up for grabs, but now finally the Pirates control the basketball. Here's Graber into the front court. They've got an opportunity to take the lead now with six and a half to go in the second quarter, tied at 10. Here's Graber, guarded by Hartman, terminates the dribble well beyond the arc, throws it over to Donka. Cross court heave to Thorson, he tries his luck from three point land and drills it. 13-10 Perrydale, 6-15 to go in the second. Dunley operating on the other side. Now to O'Brien, near side to Hartman. Hartman to McAuliffe as he walks around the perimeter, throws it to Dunley. Dunley thought about a three, now driving the left block. Backs out beyond the perimeter again and gives it to O'Brien. Now to Hartman. Hartman tries to find Freeman with his back to the cup and he scores. Freeman has been uh, the lone bright spot today for Lost River in the scoring column. He's got 10 of Lost River's 12 points in a backcourt. I believe there's five second violation. Couldn't get the ball up the floor in time. And Lost River forcing the turnover and they'll get possession. A couple of subs coming in for the Raiders. See Juan Navarro and Bo Sanders checking into the game for Chase McAuliffe. And I believe uh, Hartman subbed out as well for Lost River. Here's Dunley shoving it over to Navarro. Navarro to Freeman, head of the key to O'Brien. Now to Dunley on the left wing. Dunley gives it to Navarro on the near side. Back to Dunley. Dunley backs out well beyond the arc. Now driving the right side, driving to the cup, and a charge. Dunley with a head of steam ran right through Donka. And now Perrydale will take over on the other side of the floor. Looks like a sub coming in for them as Donka heads to the bench. See Crookshank check in. And I believe we also see Ethan Blades on the floor for the first time for Perrydale. Here's Crookshank, gets it to Blades, kicks it back over to Graber. One step inside the arc, a long two is too strong, but Thorson with the rebound and the putback. Perrydale leads 15 to 12, five minutes to go in the second quarter. Dunley and Freeman, a miscommunication leads to a turnover. 
And the Pirates bench comes alive as Lost River calls time. We'll take it two. 4.58 to go in the second quarter. Perrydale leads Lost River 15 to 12 at the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball State Playoffs on mybasin.com. Introducing Smith Bates Marcom Solutions, your trusted partner in marketing and communication. We specialize in crafting compelling campaigns, eye-catching graphics, and impactful branding materials. Smith Bates is like working with dependable friends. They always help us build our professional image. Through the innovative strategies that the team at Smith Bates suggested, we've been able to give the brand at Calor the boost that it desperately needed. Unlock your potential with Smith Bates Marcom Solutions. Lost River trails by three as we get you back into the action. Thorson for Perrydale fires a quick triple, but the Pirates get their own rebound. Graber with it, guarded by Dunley, top of the key. Terminates the dribble, kicks it over to Thorson. Thought about a triple again, but dumps it down low to Lux for an easy look at two. Perrydale leads 17 to 12, four and a half to go in the second quarter of the OSAA on point community credit union, 1A boys basketball playoffs. This is the second round winner, makes it to the Elite Eight at Baker High School. And that tournament starts a week from yesterday. Here's Sanders with it in the far corner for Lost River. Throws it to O'Brien. O'Brien shoves it to Dunley on the near side. And a whistle down low, and I believe there was a, an offensive foul away from the basketball leads to another Lost River turnover. And Perrydale regains possession. 4.09 to go in the first half. They lead by five. Couple of subs for Lost River. Hartman back out, McAuliffe back out. And to the benches, Navarro and Sanders. So the original starting five out there for Lost River. Graber to Thorson. Thorson finds Donka in the near corner. Back to Graber. Now to Crookshank. Perrydale, some nice passing. Finds its way to Thorson, but as he drives, he loses it. And a whistle is going to give, I believe, Lost River possession. And it will. They're going to whistle Thorson for a foul. That's his second. And second team foul for, or pardon me, first for the Pirates in this second quarter. Here's Hartman. Throws it to Dunley. Lost Rivers trying to get to the basket here in the second quarter a little bit more than they did in that first. Here's McAuliffe. McAuliffe driving baseline. Kicks it outside to Freeman. Freeman back down low to McAuliffe, but it's tipped out by Thorson. And the Raiders maintain possession. Raiders have gone some time without a bucket. Desperately needing one here as they trail by five. Inbound pass to Dunley. Dunley tries to cross up Graber. Step backs beyond the arc, dumps it down to McAuliffe. Kicks it near side to Freeman for a triple. Back iron no good in the rebound collected by Donka. Here comes Perrydale. Into the front court. Here's Crookshank in the near corner. Back to Donka. He throws it to Graber. Graber to Crookshank. Now back to Graber. Graber throwing it to Thorson on the far side. He steps into a triple. Front iron no good. And Freeman with the rebound. Raiders trying to push the pace. Dunley one-on-one -on -one in the fast break. Goes to the cup and a blocking foul plus the bucket for Dunley. That's what they need. This is a team that usually good things happen for them when they get in the paint and go to the rack. Dunley to the line for one more. Beat the man in transition. You're exactly right. Watching them against Trinity Lutheran, it seemed that that's when they were able to get on those runs was when they got the ball inside and were able to score around the rim. That's what this team does best. They've got good size and good athleticism down there. Dunley misses the free throw, so the score remains 17-14, to 14, 2.45 to go in the first half. Here's the Pirates. Crookshank zipping it to Thorson, kicks it back out to Graber. Thought about a three, now driving inside. Kicks it to Donka for a long two splash. Perrydale back up by five, 19 to 14. Two and a half to go in the second. The Raiders into the front court quickly. Here's McAuliffe. McAuliffe to Dunley, well beyond the arc, about 24 feet out. 
Now kicks it to McAuliffe on the far side. Steps into a triple. McAuliffe leaves it well short and Thorson with the glass. Here's Crookshank. Shoving it ahead to Donka. Back to Crookshank. Now to Graber. Graber gets rid of it to Thorson. I believe that's Donka with it in the far corner. Back to Graber. Graber to Crookshank. And the Pirates going around the horn once more, trying to get it inside to Donka, but it's tipped away by McAuliffe. So Perrydale now with 12 to shoot, will inbound at the baseline. Sub coming in for Perrydale. Lux in for Blades. And so here's Crookshank to inbound. Again, 12 on the shot clock for Perrydale. Finds Graber coming off a of screen. Dribbling inside, right elbow jumper falls. Graber's got six points, his team leads by seven. McAuliffe trying to answer, up with the shot, and he gets it to fall, and the foul. Tough bucket for Chase McAuliffe, but he takes that contact so well, hangs in the air, gets the bucket and the foul. Again, Lost River going down in the paint, getting points. They've taken a few too many outs outside shots this game for my liking. It's good when they're falling, but when they're not, you just got to stick with what you do best. That time the free throw falls for McAuliffe, makes the score 21-17, a minute and a half to go in the first half. Here's Crookshank, kicks it back over to Donka, a triple, rims out. Rebound is batted out and collected by Dunley. He gets into a foot race. One-on-one -on -one in the fast break, go into the rim again, and he's fouled. Perrydale can't believe it. But Dunley heading to the line. Dear style, efficiency, and performance. Glad we're on the same team this season and every season. Let's keep building up and go for it. Toyota, let's go places. First free throw is good for Dunley. And he's got a second one on the way. That one is also good, so Dunley trims this lead to two. 21-19, a minute 11 to go in the second quarter. Here's Donka. Throws it over to Graber, now to Crookshank. Zips it to Thorson for a free throw line jumper, no good. Perry Dale with their own rebound. Graber has it now. Kicks it near side to Donka. Donka puts it on the deck. Dribbling past McAuliffe, gets to the rim and is fouled by Tate Freeman. And so Donka will head to the line for a pair. He's got four points today, but this is his first trip to the free throw line. Well, if you're planning on going to the state tournament at Baker High School, you might want to know that the OSAA has gone digital for their playoff ticketing with hometown ticketing. They are the official ticketing partner of the OSAA. Access all tickets for first round through state championship finals at the OSAA website or OSAA live app. You can order your tickets online in advance or at the gate. Visit osaa.org backslash tickets for more information. First three free throw from Donk is no good. Second one also misses the mark. Still a two-point game and Lost River's got it. Here's Hartman hustling into the front court, kicks it to Dunley. Dunley lost it to McAuliffe and he gets fouled. Not a shooting foul, but I believe that was the Pirates' fifth team foul anyway, so McAuliffe is going to the line. McAuliffe one for one so far today. He's the second leading scorer for Lost River this season with 14 points, also averaging eight rebounds, two assists, and two steals is the senior for Lost River. His first free throw found its way home. And an opportunity to tie it, and he does. 21 all with 43 seconds to go in the second quarter. Here's Graber, throws it to Donka, back to Graber, head of the key, back to Donka. Had a little bit of time, decides not to shoot it, now to Lux, back to Donka, head of the key to Graber. Throws it over to Crookshank, to Thorson. Perrydale. Some nice passing here. Donka zips it down low to Lux. Kicks it out to Crookshank. 12 to shoot for Perrydale. Here's Donka into a triple that will not go. But the Pirates collect their own rebound and they have the opportunity for the last shot of the half. 10 to shoot. 
A long three taken and missed by Graber. They get one more shot at it if they can get it off and they will not be able to hit the shot. Donka was harassed along the perimeter, thought it might be a foul, no whistle. And we go to the halftime locker rooms tied at 21. We'll have some halftime stats for you on the other side. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on MyBasin.com and 1150 and 92.9 KAGO. Sports was kind of what defined me as a person. I loved to play uh, every sport I could possibly play. The Abbey's was really the family stomping ground for all of our community. Saturday afternoon, soccer tournaments, we'd head over to Abbey's afterwards. And then when we got up into middle school, on our way home, we'd stop at Abbey's after basketball games. When I go home, I want to see two things when I drive through Winston. I want to see my Abbey's and I want to see my high school. And those are the two memories that stick out the most to me. Threads. There are many threads that run through our region. There are churches and schools and little league teams that bring us together and bind us into communities. There are roads and cars. There are houses and jobs and businesses, all woven together to make the fabric of our communities. There are financial threads that are part of that tapestry as well. For over 80 years, it's been our pleasure to be headquartered here providing financial services to generations of our friends and neighbors. From that first savings account, to retirement planning, and all of the cars and houses and groceries in between, we keep your money local, investing it back into our communities, adding more threads to the fabric to make our community stronger. Pacific Crest Federal Credit Union, find your path. Introducing Smith Bates Marcom Solutions, your trusted partner in marketing and communication. We specialize in crafting compelling campaigns, eye-catching graphics, and impactful branding materials. Smith Bates is like working with dependable friends. They always help us build our professional image. Through the innovative strategies that the team at Smith Bates suggested, we've been able to give the brand at Calor the boost that it desperately needed. Unlock your potential with Smith Bates Marcom Solutions. And I would have stared him down while I. Back with you at Lost River High School for the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150-92.9 KAGO and MyBasin.com at halftime today. Tied up at 21. Let's take a look at the leading scorers first with the Lost River Raiders. Tate Freeman is leading all scorers with 10 points on the night so far. He's gotten help from Chase McAuliffe with seven and Connor Dunley with four. It's the usual suspects for the Raiders and frankly for the Pirates as well. Let's take a look at their leading scores. Nine points for Lucas Thorson, uh, six for Connor Graber, four for Eric Donka and two for Brandon Lux. Tallies is up to 21 tied at halftime. Matt, you kind of touched on it a little bit during that second quarter, especially that Lost River, their best when they get to the bucket, but they're kind of taking a lot of outside shots in that first half. Yeah, and I don't think that's something Brad Johnson was too happy with, among other things. He seemed quite animated when he called that timeout um, about a few minutes, I think a few minutes into the second quarter, really lighting into those guys. But, you know, they just haven't quite looked on so far. Like you said, settling for a lot of outside shots. Passing, not great at times. I mean, I... I, I think just looking at these two teams, I think Lost River is clearly the better team here, but they haven't quite been playing like it. They did get Connor Dunley and Chase McAuliffe involved a little bit more in that second quarter, and the key there was getting to the line. Lost River, I believe, hit every free throw in that quarter. They went five for five, and so that was able to get them on a little bit of a run and, and tie up this game. You only do that, though, by getting physical inside the paint. Absolutely, and every time we've seen them this year, that is when they are so tough to beat, when they pound it down low. You got Chase McAuliffe down there. Connor Dunley can take it to the rack, too. I mean, just about any of these guys, any of their starting five, that's that's part of what makes them so hard to beat is that pretty much any of their starting five can get down in the paint and get buckets. 
Right now they are looking to book their first trip to the Elite Eight Tournament at Baker High School for the first time since 2019. We'll take a look at the bracket on the other side, tell you the rest of the teams that are looking to make it to the state tournament a week from yesterday. Details on that on the other side. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoff on 1150-92.9 KAGO and MyBasin.com. Comfortable and not cool. At Clownfall Subaru, we built our business on that simple promise. Well, that and some of the best people you're ever going to meet. Hi, I'm Rob Cedar, General Manager at Clownfall Subaru. Our 62 employees make it easy for us to live up to our comfortable, not corporate philosophy. Friendly faces, easy answers, straight talk, fairness, and exceptional service. These are the things you expect. These are the things that all of our people deliver. Our management team, sales pros, Certified service and body shop techs, lot attendants, and detail experts are all 100% focused on you. Local people putting their friends and neighbors first. At Clown Falls Subaru, that's the only way we do business. It's comfortable, not corporate. Our team members also spend hundreds of hours each year supporting local charities and events through the Subaru Love Promise. That's the kind of people they are. We're very proud of them. They're your friends, they're your neighbors, they're glad to know you, and they want you to be glad to know them too. I'm Rob, and this is what makes us comfortable, not corporate. Welcome back to Lost River High School in the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball State Playoffs. 1150-92.9 KAGO and MyBasin.com. Let's take a look at the bracket now as we've got a, a couple of updated scores from some of these, uh, some of these Sweet 16 matchups. Let's first find out that uh, the winner here will play Nick Yowie, who beat Valor Christian 66 to 34 earlier this afternoon. The number two seed in the state has booked their ticket to Baker High School. The one other final score we know is that North Douglas defeated Sherman 69 to 60 earlier today. That's the 11 seed knocking off the six seed as they advance to the state tournament as well. Uh, one other game that we don't have a final score on so far was Bonanza taking on top seed and defending state champion Crane. Uh, that game tipped off about two hours ago. No final score yet, uh, but maybe if you know it, you can maybe leave it in the comments section on our live stream if you perhaps want to help us out a little bit and spread the word over who is going to Baker High School. The Elite Eight Tournament actually starts uh, a week from yesterday. It's February 28th. Uh, which is actually, pardon me, Wednesday the state tournament starts. Nobody plays on Thursday, then they wrap it up on Friday and Saturday uh, up at Baker High School. So that's where these teams are trying to get to. And right now tied at half, 21 all between Perrydale and Lost River High School. We're going to take one more break on the halftime show when we come back. We're ready for third quarter action from Merrill, Oregon. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoff on 1150-92.9 KAGO and MyBasin.com. This is where unconditional love and immeasurable happiness reside. This is home. Coltwell Banker, where home begins. Comfortable and not corporate. At Clownfall Subaru, we built our business on that simple promise. Well, that and some of the best people you're ever going to meet. Hi, I'm Rob Cedar, General Manager at Clownfall Subaru. Our 62 employees make it easy for us to live up to our comfortable, not corporate philosophy. Friendly faces, Easy answers, straight talk, fairness, and exceptional service. These are the things you expect. These are the things that all of our people deliver. Our management team, sales pros, certified service and body shop techs, lot attendants, and detail experts 
are all 100% focused on you. Local people putting their friends and neighbors first. At Clown Falls Subaru, that's the only way we do business. It's comfortable, not corporate. Our team members also spend hundreds of hours each year supporting local charities and events through the Subaru Love Promise. That's the kind of people they are. We're very proud of them. They're your friends, they're your neighbors, they're glad to know you, and they want you to be glad to know them too. I'm Rob, and this is what makes us comfortable, not corporate. We're back on 1150 and 92.9 KAGO as we are ready for the third quarter, already into the action. Connor Dunley lofts it down to Chase McAuliffe to break our stalemate. Lost River leads 23-21, 7.40 to go in the third quarter. The OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoff. Josh Eldridge and Matt Bowling with you as Perry Dale has got possession now. Kicking it over to Donka. Tries to loft it down. The pass tipped away by McAuliffe and picked up by Freeman. Here come the Raiders. McAuliffe now driving to the rim. Goes strong to the cup and scores. Four quick points for Chase McAuliffe and the Raiders give them a four point advantage. 25-21, 7-12 to go in the third. Crookshank dumps it down low to Thorson. Underhand pass out to Graber. Now to Donka, back to Graber. Tries to get it down low to Lux. Kicks it back out to Graber, but it's taken away by O'Brien. Couple of turnovers for Perry Dale, giving the Raiders extra possessions. Here's Dunley now on the near side. Takes a screen left, kicks it out to Hartman. Back to Dunley, head of the key. Now here's O'Brien, kicks it to Freeman. Freeman to Hartman, well beyond the arc. Cross court pass to Dunley. Dunley now to O'Brien. Tossing it down to Freeman, back out to O'Brien. O'Brien has it now, underhand pass to Freeman. Now to Dunley, eight to shoot for the Raiders. Dunley throws it to Hartman. Near side to O'Brien, five to shoot. Now to Hartman. Someone's got to take a shot. One second to shoot. Dunley will not get the shot off in time. A shot clock violation. The Raiders couldn't really find a shot they were happy with that quarter. They had, or that possession rather. They had a couple of opportunities, but just wouldn't fire the rock. Real quick, we got a Crane Bonanza score, courtesy of Cross Point Christian head coach Tim Moore. It's Crane, it was Crane 81, Bonanza 40, the final. Thank you there. Antlers are eliminated, and Crane going back to the state tournament. Back in this one, Thorson knocks down a jumper from about 14 feet out. 25-23, Lost River still leads. Dunley driving to the rim, gets fouled. Tough contact, knocked him down. Hartman to inbound at the baseline for the Raiders. Quickly to Dunley, gets it back to Hartman, but he wasn't in bounds yet. And an unfortunate turnover for the Raiders gives the Pirates the ball back. Here's Crookshank trying to get it to Donka, tipped out of bounds by Dunley, but the Pirates will hold on to it. Crookshank inbounds to Graber. Graber throws it over to Donka, back to Graber. Again, Lost River, 2-3 zone on defense. They've been getting the ball out of the passing lanes in this quarter so far. Pass goes over to Donka, bounces it down low to Lux, finds Thorson cutting to the rim, and he scores. Tied up at 25, with five and a half to go in the third. Thorson, after that bucket, has got 13 points. Dunley along the near side, tries to get it to Freeman, but it's stolen away by Thorson. Pass into the front court to Graber, but it's ripped out of the, his, his hands by Dunley. Loose ball collected by the Pirates. Graber going inside, up against McAuliffe. He can't get that shot to fall, and Chase clears up the glass. Kicks it ahead to Freeman. Freeman driving inside the paint. Pump fakes and will travel. Another turnover for the Raiders. All right, Graber inbounds to Crookshank. Throws it over to Graber. And a timeout called by Perrydale. They'll take it too. Tied up at 25, 5.05 to go in the third. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150-92.9 KAGO and MyBasin.com. Sports was kind of what defined 
me as a person. I loved to play uh, every sport I could possibly play. The Abbey's was really the family stomping ground for all of our community. Saturday afternoon, soccer tournaments, we'd head over to Abbey's afterwards. And then when we got up into middle school, on our way home, we'd stop at Abbey's after basketball games. When I go home, I want to see two things when I drive through Winston. I want to see my Abbey's and I want to see my high school. And those are the two memories that stick out the most to me. Back into the action, Perrydale with it. Lux has it at the baseline, dribbles it back out, kicks it to Crookshank, now back to Graber. Graber bouncing it near side to Donka, tries to get it to Lux, but it's stolen away by the Raiders. Here comes Dunley into the front court for Lost River. Dunley brings it along the left side of the floor, throws it to McAuliffe in the far corner. McAuliffe guarded by Donka, up to O'Brien, dumps it down low to Freeman, who shoots one from about nine feet out. A little bit too strong. O'Brien with the rebound. He shoves it down low to McAuliffe, who gets the bucket and the foul. Chase McAuliffe, physical down low, earning free throws. So far, McAuliffe is three for three at the line today. Gave his team the lead, and now an opportunity to make it three. And we've got a sub coming in for Perrydale. That was the third foul for Lux. He's been kind of dancing with foul trouble tonight, so he heads to the bench right now in favor of uh, Ethan Blades, the senior standing six foot three. Here's McAuliffe. His free throw rattles out, and the rebound collected by Crookshank. He shoves it ahead to Donka, now to Graber. Graber throws it back to Donka, now lofts it high to Graber, head of the key, back to Donka. He was left alone for a moment, dribbles inside the perimeter, kicks it back over to Graber. Graber fires a contested triple, leaves it short. And now here comes Lost River. Dunley into the front court. Dunley tries to get it to McAuliffe, but it's tipped away by Graber. Graber shoves it ahead to Crookshank, who's driving to the rim, and he gets fouled hard by Dunley. He was waiting for the contact to go to the line, and Dunley certainly made it worth his trouble. This will be the first free throws for Crookshank today. I want to remind you that On Point Community Credit Union is a proud sponsor of the OSAA State Championship. On Point is Oregon's largest locally headquartered credit union, serving more than 539,000 members. Visit onpointcu.com. On Point is federally insured by the NCUA. Equal housing opportunity. First free throw off the mark by Crookshank. Perrydale's only one for four from the line as a team tonight. Make it two for five after that make. One point game, 27-26, under four to go in the third. Dunley with it on the far side. Gets it to McAuliffe at the baseline, but he dribbles it back out beyond the arc. Throws it to Hartman. Now Freeman at the left elbow. Behind the back pass to McAuliffe, but he dribbles it back out beyond the arc. Now Freeman has it, throws it to Dunley in the near corner. Dunley fields a double team, kicks it to McAuliffe. McAuliffe back to Dunley, takes the screen, head of the key, throws it to Hartman, left alone for a triple, it's in! Hartman with his first made bucket is a three-pointer, giving his team a four-point lead, but Thorson responds on the other side with a two-point bucket. It's 30 to 28, Dunley racing the floor and he scores! Fireworks here in the third quarter. Lost River leads 32 to 28. Three minutes to go in the third. Here's Graber over to Thorson. He tries to respond with a three, won't go. And a tie up for the rebound down low. O'Brien gets tied up with Donka. A held ball, possession favors Perrydale. And to inbound will be Crookshank. Crookshank lofting it to Donka in the near side. Gets it to Graber, but it's tipped by Dunley. Graber does get it back, though. Throws it near side to Donka. Gets it back to Graber, head of the key. Throws it to Thorson. Thorson guarded by Hartman beyond the arc. Down low to Crookshank, bouncing it outside to Graber. Graber throwing it to Thorson. Thorson to Graber, trying to split up the defense. Throws one up from 14 and knocks it down. Two-point game, 32-30. 
Freeman into the front court for Lost River, goes up and scores. Thirty-four, thirty. Those were Freeman's first points of the second half. Here's Crookshank, bouncing it over to Donka. Now it's Graber. Graber driving right, kicks it out to Donka. Corner three, bounces around the rim, won't go, and goes out of bounds. Last touched by Chase McAuliffe, and so Perrydale holds on to possession. Full shot clock reset with two minutes and three seconds to go in the third quarter. And Lost River leads by four, 34-30. Crookshank lofts it to Thorson. He takes a quick triple head of the key and it finds its way home. One point game, Thorson, that's his second made triple. Under two to go in the third. Here's Dunley, kicks it near side to Freeman. Freeman trying to drive baseline, loses the dribble, but it was actually tipped out of bounds by Donka. And so Lost River keeps possession. It'll be Hartman to inbound. Hartman gets it to Dunley in the near corner. Thought about a three, throws it to O'Brien. Back to Dunley, he takes a three. This time it won't go. And the rebound is going to head out of bounds. Last touched by O'Brien, so the Pirates take it. 1.41 to go in the third quarter and Lost River up by one. Again, the winner here makes it to the Elite Eight Tournament. Lost River trying to get there for the first time since 2019. Perrydale since 2017. Here's Graber. Graber, a mid-range jumper, leaves it short, and Hartman with the rebound. Throws it ahead to Dunley. All alone in transition, and Dunley scores with ease. Eight points for Connor, and his team leads by three. 36-30, 1.20 to go in the third. Thorson with it. Kicks it over to Graber, driving inside. Another mid-range shot off the mark for Perrydale, but they collect their own rebound. Blades tries to kick it out to Crookshank, but it's stolen away by the Raiders. Here's Dunley. Dunley racing up the floor, brings it back out beyond the arc as the Raiders slow things down. O'Brien, head of the key, three, he banks it in! First points for Emmett O'Brien, gives his team a six point lead, under a minute to go in the third quarter. Here's Graber. Graber kicking it over to Thorson, back to Graber. Now to Thorson again, he tries to answer with a triple, no good. Now here's Freeman, he's gonna cross the timeline for Lost River, throws it to McAuliffe, slicing up the defense, hangs in the air on a mid-range shot that doesn't fall. Rebound is wrestled for at the baseline, won by Lost River. Freeman has it along the perimeter and nails a triple! 15 points for Tate Freeman, 42-33 Lost River leads. Thorson with it on the far side. Tries to dump it down low, and it goes out of bounds. Last touched by Donka, and the Raiders have it. They'll get the last possession of the third quarter if they decide to keep it for 12.9 seconds. Hartman racing up, throws it to McAuliffe. Eight to shoot. McAuliffe finds O'Brien. O'Brien lofts it over to Hartman. Now three to shoot. Back to Dunley. Dunley dribbles left, fires a triple, no good, but that brings us to the end of the third quarter. The Raiders exploding at the end of that period as they lead by nine. 42-33, fourth quarter's next. The OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150-92.9 KAGO and MyBasin.com. This is where unconditional love and immeasurable happiness reside. This is home. Coltwell Banker, where home begins. 
Lost River leads 42-33 in the fourth quarter. The OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball State Playoffs. Dunley fires a triple and knocks it home. Make that a 12-point lead for the Raiders. 45-33, 7.45 to go in the fourth quarter. Raiders ended that third quarter on an 8-0 run. Thorson is going to get fouled in the paint. They scored 21 points in the first half. They scored 21 points in the third quarter. And they find themselves up uh, with a fairly substantial margin in the early parts of the fourth. I was just getting ready to say, Josh, Lost River looks like they're about to bust this one open. We'll see if Perrydale can regroup and claw their way back into it. Dunley with a steal on the inbound. He's racing to the rim and leaves the layup short. Perrydale given another opportunity here after the miscue from the Raiders. Here's Graber. Graber guarded by Hartman, throws it to Crookshank, bounces it over to Graber. Graber dumps it to Thorson, back over to Crookshank, driving against Dunley, throws it out to Lux, back to Graber. Down low to Thorson, who can't score close to the cup. Freeman with the rebound, throws it ahead to Hartman. Hartman finds McAuliffe, driving to the rim, throws it off the glass, no good. Thorson with the glass. Here is Graber into the front court for Perrydale. Throws it over to Donka and a whistle down low. They're going to get McAuliffe for getting a little bit too handsy with Thorson in the paint. And for McAuliffe, that's his second. Raiders first of the fourth quarter. 6.49 to go in the ball game. And Lost River leads 45-33. McAuliffe checks out. And Bo Sanders into the game for the Raiders. But it'll be Perrydale who inbounds at the baseline. Inbound pass to Donka. Now it's Crookshank. Down low to Graber. Zips it down to Thorson. Turnaround jumper from nine feet falls. And it's a 10 point game. 45 35. Six and a half to go in the fourth. Here's Freeman in the near corner. Freeman down low to Sanders. On the right block is denied by Thorson. Block goes out of bounds. The Raiders keep possession and a travel. Oh, a very late signal from our official across the floor. They're going to say that Sanders traveled actually before that shot. And so Perrydale gets the basketball. Chance to trim the lead back down to single digits for the Pirates. Here's Crookshank. Back to Graber. Throws it to Donka. Donka back to Graber. Throws it to Crookshank. Near side to... Well, now it's back to Graber. Graber dumps it down low to Thorson, close to the rim, and he converts once more. Here's Dunley. His team now leads by eight, 45-37, six minutes to go in the game. Here's Sanders in the near corner. Sanders to O'Brien, throwing it to Hartman. Hartman on the left wing, dumps it down low to Sanders, tries to body up Thorson, and gets fouled. Are they calling that one on the floor, or is they giving, they're giving Sanders the shooting foul? We'll see. And looked like Sanders might have been shooting, but they're going to say that foul was on the floor. It'll be Hartman to inbound at the baseline. Quickly to Dunley. O'Brien now to Hartman on the far side. Gets it to Sanders in the far corner. Finds Dunley curling off a screen. Now back to O'Brien, head of the key. Here's Hartman now in the near wing. Finds Dunley again. Dunley thought about it, tripled, and backs out. Here's Hartman. Gets it to Sanders. Sanders to O'Brien, but the pass tipped out of bounds by Crookshank. Lost River keeps possession with 16 on the shot clock. Hartman throwing it to Dunley. Dunley, knifing it between his legs to O'Brien, now near side to Hartman, gets it to Sanders. Sanders driving baseline. Reverse layup is no good, and Donka with the rebound. Throws it ahead to Lux, now near side to Graber. Graber trying to find room inside the paint. Kicks it back outside and a miss by Donka. Loose ball is going to be, uh, well, there's a whistle before the loose ball can be collected. And I believe this one is going against Perrydale. It looked like they're going to charge Brody Crookshank, the senior, with the foul. And timeout called by Coach Brad Johnson of Lost River. We'll take it. 5-10 to go in the ball game, and the Raiders lead the Pirates 45-37. to The OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on mybasin.com. 
The innocence of youth. Is there anything any better? But soon they'll be in high school and facing all the same challenges you faced. How to make friends. How to fit in. How to be cool. We want our children to have everything they'll need to live fulfilling and productive lives. Make sure the kids in your family are among the more than 120,000 participants here in Oregon who take part in high school sports or activities. Five minutes and 10 seconds remain in the fourth quarter at the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150-92.9 KAGO and MyBasin.com. While we have some time, I want to thank again the Lost River Booster Club for helping us get on the air tonight, uh, allowing us to claim the rights to broadcast the video feed for you wherever you are watching in the state. You're watching it because of the Lost River Booster Club. So again, thanks to those folks for stepping up and allowing us to be on the air tonight. Their team is up 45-37. to and they start with the basketball. Here's O'Brien on the near side, kicking it to Dunley. Dunley to McAuliffe, head of the key. One step inside, kicks it out to Hartman. Hartman puts it on the deck, dribbles back out. Perrydale pressing a little bit more on the defensive end. Here's Freeman, spinning around on the right block. Shoves inside to the paint, but will travel on his way to the rim. Pirates with it, it'll be Graber. They're trying to keep time on their side a little bit, not touching it until it rolls into the front courts. The clock won't start. Here's Graber with it, zipping it down low to Thorson. Bouncing it outside to Donka. Donka has it now, kicking it to Lux. Lux back to Graber. Graber on the right wing beyond the arc. Here he's got it. Takes a triple that will not go. Ball goes out of bounds, and it was last touched by Freeman. And the Pirates hold on to it. And let's see, some conversation with the officials and Tate Freeman, but it looks like, uh, looks like we're ready to go. It'll be Crookshank to inbound. Quickly into Donka. Tries to get it back to Thorson, but the ball is batted out. Dunley saves it from going out of bounds. But it's a loose ball at half court. Hit up front to Thorson. A left elbow jumper is no good. Still a loose ball now. Collected again by Perry Dale. Here's Crookshank driving the right side. Kicks it to Lux at the baseline. Now down low to Graber who lays it up and in. A nice right-handed floater there. Score now 45-39. Lost River still in front. Under four minutes to go now in the ball game. McAuliffe has it on the far side. To O'Brien, now near side to Hartman. Dumps it to Freeman in the air corner. Rifles a pass to McAuliffe, head of the key for a triple. Off the left rim, no good, but Dunley is there to clean up the rebound and scores. And a whistle in the open floor, I believe is gonna go against Connor Dunley after he scores. 47-39, 3.39 to go in the fourth quarter. Lost River leads. In this second round matchup, winner advances to the Elite Eight. Here's Donka. Donka rifles a pass down low to Lux, and he lays it. Oh, it rolls off the rim. Unfortunate roll. Here come the Raiders. O'Brien to McAuliffe, driving to the rim. Up off the glass, and it's down. McAuliffe, physical around the rim, gives his team a 10-point lead with 3.15 to go in the final quarter. Here's Thorson, a free throw line jumper, tries to use the glass, but it won't go. Rebound is collected by Lux, but stripped away by the Raiders. Here's McAuliffe now into the front court, passes it back over to O'Brien, now to Hartman, Dunley now near side. Dunley puts it on the deck, shoves it to Freeman, and a whistle. Timeout's gonna be called by Coach Brad Johnson, will take it to 2.53 to go in the fourth quarter, Lost River up by 10. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoff on mybasin.com. What rhymes with great? Participate. Where does greatness start? Here, in the classroom. On the stage. In the pool. On the field. 
Where will your greatness take you? To better grades. To more friends. Yeah! Be great. Participate! <laughs> Uninterrupted basketball the rest of the way. 2.53 to go in the fourth, 49-39. Lost River leads Perrydale in the round of 16. The OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs. Lost River starts with the ball. Hartman kicks it to Freeman, throws it to Dunley in the far corner. Tries to get it to O'Brien in the near corner. Fires a triple too strong. Rebound goes out of bounds, last touched by Perrydale, and the Raiders keep possession at the baseline. They'll have 12 to shoot after the inbound. McAuliffe throws it to Freeman. Freeman now to Dunley, dumps it off to McAuliffe. Back out to Hartman for a far corner triple. No good, Freeman with the rebound, tries to put it back up. His shot is bothered, but he's fouled. And so Tate Freeman Going to the line. He's had a little bit of trouble from the penalty stripe so far. Although not a huge sample size, he's only one for three. Earning two free throws here. He's got 15 points tonight. His first free throw is no good. Freeman, another one of the regular names you've heard all season if you've watched Lost River basketball. 14 points per game this season. Seven rebounds, two assists, three steals uh, for Freeman so far this year. Missed his first free throw. Here's his second. That one rims out. Rebound is ripped away by Thorson. And it'll be Crookshank who hands it to Graber. And Graber brings it into the front court. Graber bouncing it over to Donka. Donka tries to get it to Crookshank, but it's tipped away by Dunley. Again, alone in transition, Connor Dunley scores. He has been a defensive menace for Lost River here in this fourth quarter as Perrydale calls time. We'll keep it here with 2.11 to go in the fourth quarter. 51-31, Lost River leads. We talked about it in the beginning of the game, Matt, but those two steals uh, for each kid on Lost River, at least in their starting lineup, that's average per game. Connor Dunley's well surpassed that. We're starting to see their defense really pick things up in this second half. Yeah, absolutely. Holding them to, I think, 18 points in the entire second half so far after giving up, well, only gave up 21 in the first half, but this is uh, really another really strong defensive outing by the Raiders. Again, while we have a moment, want to bring up the bracket as we know it to be right now. The winner in this game advances to play game D uh, at the state tournament at Baker High School. They'll be playing Nick Uwe, who beat Valor Christian earlier today. This game will be played at 8.15 on the 28th at uh, Baker High School. It's their final game of the day. And uh, of course, you can get updated bracket information at osaa.org. As Harry Dale exits the bench. Five on the floor for them is the same five who started the game. Brody Crookshank, Brandon Lux, Connor Graber, Eric Danka, and Lucas Thorson. For Lost River, same story for them. Emmett O'Brien, Tate Freeman, Connor Dunley, Chase McAuliffe, and Caden Hartman. Perrydale starts with the basketball. Crookshank bounces it over to Graber. Back to Crookshank. Now to Graber. Graber dumps it down low to Thorson, and he throws up a nice floater that falls down. And so back down to a 10-point game, a steal. Thorson gets the ball back, and he can't score close to the cup. Emmett O'Brien is wrestled as he tries to collect the rebound. He gets called with a held ball. Possession stays with Perrydale as they bought themselves an extra possession. Trying to trim it to a one-digit lead for Lost River. Quickly to Donka. Donka to Graber. Graber, a long triple that falls. And now only a seven point lead for Lost River after that Eric Donka triple, or pardon me, that was uh, Connor Graber. His second made three of the game. He's got 13 points and he just trimmed this lead down to seven. Again, 143 left to go in the fourth quarter. Won't be leaving you for the rest of the game. Uninterrupted basketball the rest of the way, but 
I do want to remind you that you can stay connected with your favorite team with the OSAA Live mobile app. OSAA Live features the latest scores, schedules, and rankings for all teams and leagues across the state of Oregon. You can access OSAA state championship programs, read the latest prep news and information, search OSAA Live in the App Store or on Google Play and download it today. Perrydale emerging from the bench. They are down right now, but certainly not out. Got themselves an extra possession, and they've brought themselves within seven. But it will be Lost River to start with the basketball coming out of the break. Hartman to inbound. And Perrydale pressing on defense. Their season on the line in the final minute 43 of the game. Dunley's going to get fouled. See if they start to send some of these Raiders to the free throw line. That was the fourth foul committed by the Pirates this quarter. One more to give, puts Lost River in the bonus. But lots of time left. We'll see how Perrydale approaches this. And we'll do it after a timeout. 40, pardon me, 51 to 44. 140 to go in the fourth. Lost River in front of Perrydale trying to get to the uh, state tournament once more for the first time since 2019. Although when they did it that time, they were a 2A school. They'll be a 2A school again next year. Uh, so this is really their only time to make the 1A tournament at, at Baker High School uh, for the first time really in school history. Never won a state title. They'll be trying to do that for the first time, make it back to the state title game for the first time since 1998. That was when Ray Struve was the head coach. He now coaches the Bonanza Lady Antlers who lost in their first round playoff game. That was back on Wednesday. Bonanza boys lost today as well. They lost to a top seed and defending state champion Crane. Only other Basin team remaining aside from these Lost River boys is the Chiliquin girls who will play uh, Powder Valley, I believe, tomorrow. All right, back into the action. Lost River with it. Hartman to inbound. They'll get it to O'Brien, who is left alone. O'Brien will get fouled, and that will send him to the line. So Perrydale going to try to get back into this game by sending uh, Lost River to the free throw line. Emmett O'Brien has three points today, although at the penalty stripe, he's 0 for 2 in the ball game. Averaging eight points, seven boards, two assists, and three steals per game this season on a league-best Lost River defense who's only allowing 37 points per game this season. Obviously, Perrydale has surpassed that average. But they've been playing good defense so far. First free throw was oh, good from O'Brien. His second one is good. And so now the score, 52-44, a minute 34 to go in the fourth quarter. Graber has it head of the key, throws it to Donka. He fires a triple, won't go. Freeman with the rebound, and he's going to get fouled and will head to the line. Freeman also hasn't had the best night from the free throw line so far. He is just one for... A five so far in the game. His first free throw is good. Trying to make it a 10 point game with a minute 24 to go in the fourth. He would do so with a make here. And he sinks it. 54 44. Lost River in front of Perrydale. Here's Graber. Back to Donka. Now to Graber. Graber, a long triple, back iron, no good. Rebound, batted back out to Graber, fires another triple, that one won't go either. Emmett O'Brien collects the rebound and is fouled. They'll send O'Brien back to the line. And I believe that will spell the end of the night for Lucas Thorson. He just picked up his fifth foul, the 6-7 post. And the leading scorer for Perrydale so far in the game. His night is concluded. As is his high school career. 
senior heading to the bench. Had one heck of a game so far to my tally, 24 points on the evening. As Emmett O'Brien hits his first free throw, 55-44, 67 seconds to go in the game. O'Brien's second free throw is gonna take a wild hop off the back rim and not fall. Perrydale racing into the front court. Graber throws it to Donka. Donka back to Graber, a long triple as well, short. Rebound is smacked out of bounds, last touched by the Raiders, and Perrydale will have an opportunity to inbound. Trailing by 11, 56 seconds to go in the game, and it's inbounded to Donka. He kicks it to Graber, back to Donka. Fires a triple, tries to bank it in, won't go. The rebound is collected by the Raiders. Dunley with it now in the front court. They're gonna throw it to McAuliffe underneath the rim and he will get fouled. McAuliffe to the free throw line with 42 seconds to go in the game. Again, for those of you planning on making the trip to Baker High School for the Elite Eight Tournament, I want to remind you that you're gonna have to buy your tickets online through Hometown Ticketing, the official ticketing partner of the OSAA. Access tickets for all state championship events via the OSAA website or OSAA live app. You can order your tickets ahead of time or at the gate. Visit osaa.org backslash tickets. One free throw good for Dunley. A triple shot at and missed for Perrydale. And they will touch it last, I believe, going out of bounds. Are they going to call Freeman with a foul instead? As I believe he kind of pushed Crookshank out of bounds trying to get to that rebound. And so Perrydale will have a chance to inbound with 31 seconds to go in the game. A sub coming in will be Brody Burr. And Brandon Lux heads to the bench. His high school career coming to an end as well after scoring two points tonight. Inbound pass to Graber. A long triple is too strong. And McAuliffe cleans up the glass. Hartman throws it ahead to Dunley. Dunley driving to the rim, tries to throw down a dunk, won't go, but Freeman is there for the putback, no harm, no foul. And Freeman with two points, 58-44, 15 seconds to go in the game. Graber fires up a pair, a prayer that will not go, and Freeman is... Presumably, last free throws of the game coming up for Tate Freeman. Well, this is going to be the fifth time since Perry Dale last made the state champion, the state uh, quarterfinals, excuse me, in 2017, that they come one win short. Certainly hurts, but a good showing from this team today on the road. Just ran up against a stifling Lost River defense. Graber, another prayer, won't go. And that is the ball game. The Lost River Raiders are headed to the Elite Eight at Baker High School. We'll be back to recap it all for you. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150 and 929 KAGO and MyBasin.com. Sports was kind of what defined me as a person, I love to play uh, every sport I could possibly play. The Abbey's was really the family stomping ground for all of our community. Saturday afternoon, soccer tournaments, we'd head over to Abbey's afterwards. And then when we got up into middle school, on our way home, we'd stop at Abbey's after basketball games. When I go home, I want to see two things when I drive through Winston. I want to see my Abbey's and I want to see my high school. And those are the two memories that stick out the most to me. Reds. There are many threads that run through our region. There are churches and schools and little league teams that bring us together and bind us into communities. There are roads and cars. There are houses and jobs and businesses, all woven together to make the fabric of our communities. There are financial threads that are part of that tapestry as well. For over 80 years, it's been our pleasure to be headquartered here providing financial services to generations of our friends and neighbors. From that first savings account, to retirement planning, and all of the cars and houses and groceries in between, we keep your money local, investing it back into our communities, adding more threads to the fabric to make our community stronger. Pacific Crest Federal Credit Union, find your path. 
Introducing Smith Bates Marcom Solutions, your trusted partner in marketing and communication. We specialize in crafting compelling campaigns, eye catching graphics, and impactful branding materials. Smith Bates is like working with dependable friends. They always help us build our professional image. Through the innovative strategies that the team at Smith Bates suggested, we've been able to give the brand at Calor the boost that it desperately needed. Unlock your potential with Smith Bates Marcom Solutions. Final score 58 44. The Lost River Raiders are booking their trip to Baker High School in the Elite Eight Tournament. The OSAA on point community credit union 1a boys basketball state tournament uh, you've been listening to it tonight on 104 or pardon me on 1150 92 9 khgo and mybasin.com leading scorers will start with the lost river raiders 19 points tonight for tate freeman 15 for connor dunley 14 for chase mcauliffe five for emmett o'brien and three for Caden and Hartman. For Perrydale, 24 points for Lucas Thorson, 13 for Connor Graber, uh, four for Eric Danka, uh, two for Brandon Lux, and one for Brody Cruikshank. It was a tight first half. Once the second half began, Lost River really turned up the heat. They showed us why uh, they were the, just the better team today. Yeah, you know, like I, like I said around halftime, Lost River was the better team. They didn't quite play like it in the first half, but you know, they got right more towards the end of the game. I mean, even through the first, even through the third quarter, Perrydale really did a nice job hanging tough. Lost River finally able to gain some separation going on that 8-0 run to end the third and really keeping control into the fourth. Good game again for the uh, three main culprits for Lost River that we see most every game. Tate Freeman, Connor Dunley, Chase McAuliffe. For two of those guys, Two seniors, two football state champions, and now they're trying to go claim the first state championship in school history for the sport of boys basketball. We'll take a look at the uh, rest of the bracket on the other side. A couple of more updated scores as well, so we know who's going to the Elite Eight tournament at Baker High School. That's coming up on the other side. Lost River 58, Perrydale 44. This is the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150-92.9 KAGO and mybasin.com. Comfortable and not corporate. At Clownfall Subaru, we built our business on that simple promise. Well, that and some of the best people you're ever going to meet. Hi, I'm Rob Cedar, General Manager at Clownfall Subaru. Our 62 employees make it easy for us to live up to our comfortable, not corporate philosophy. Friendly faces, easy answers, straight talk, fairness, and exceptional service. These are the things you expect. These are the things that all of our people deliver. Our management team, sales pros, certified service and body shop techs, lot attendants and detail experts are all 100% focused on you. Local people putting their friends and neighbors first. At Clown Falls Subaru, that's the only way we do business. It's comfortable, not corporate. Our team members also spend hundreds of hours each year supporting local charities and events through the Subaru Love Promise. That's the kind of people they are. We're very proud of them. They're your friends, they're your neighbors, they're glad to know you, and they want you to be glad to know them too. I'm Rob, and this is what makes us comfortable, not corporate. Welcome back to Lost River High School at the OSAA On Point Community Credit Union 1A Boys Basketball Playoffs on 1150-92.9 KAGO and mybasin.com. Lost River defeating Perrydale 58-44, to advancing to the uh, state tournament at Baker High School. Let's take a look now at the other teams that will be joining them on the 28th, that is Wednesday. So just to go down a couple of the scores, we'll start at the top left. Uh, Crane, the number one seed and defending state champion, defeated Bonanza earlier today, 81-40. to They're awaiting the final of Union against Falls City Kings Valley Charter. That game uh, finished up about an hour and a half, or started an hour and a half ago, rather, so no final score there yet. Uh, we do know who's playing in the second game uh, at 3.15 on the 28th to be Hill Christian against Trinity Lutheran. Cross Hill Christian defeated Dufer in overtime, 87-83. to Rarely ever see a high school game scored that high. They'll be meeting uh, Trinity Lutheran, who defeated Spray Mitchell Wheeler, that co-op over there, 67-37. to Still awaiting a final score from Elkton and Open Door Christian Academy. They tipped off about an hour ago, so uh, probably getting ready for the uh, third or fourth quarter over there. Uh, North Douglas, the 11 seed, 
knocked off Sherman, the sixth seed, 69 to 60 earlier today. Uh, they're awaiting the winner of that Elkton Open Door Christian Academy game. Uh, again, Lost River here defeating Perrydale 58 to 44. They will play Nick Yaway, who defeated Valor Christian 66 to 34. That will be the 8-15 game at Baker High School on the 28th. And you can always follow the Lost River Raiders on their quest for state champion number one right here on 5092.9 AGO. We'll be carrying the OSAA radio feed uh, from Baker High School. So if you're unable to make the trip and you want to listen here locally, we will have the coverage for you right here on the station that you're listening to right now. Uh, again, final 58 to 44. Matt, any uh, any thoughts of, on this game before we wrap things up? Yeah, you know, at the end of the day, Lost River got the job done. They're going to their first state tournament in four years. Definitely going to have to clean some things up a little because he can't come out like they did in the first half at the state tournament. It's a team like Nick Yaw and expect things to not end very badly. Last time they made the state tournament, they were two and through, hoping for different prospects this year uh, when they head up there. Again, their first game is on Wednesday. You'll be able to listen to that right here on 1150 and 92.9 KAGO. I want to thank a few of the folks that make tonight's broadcast possible. We'll start with uh, the head coaches, Brian Domes and Brad Johnson of Perrydale and Lost River, respectively. Uh, and, of course, the athletic director here, Mr. Sidney Hobgood, for uh, let letting us set up here in the... Uh, kind of bird's eye nest at Lost River High School. Also want to give a shout out to the Lost River Booster Clubs. I've mentioned them a couple of times in tonight's broadcast, but they're the reason that you're able to watch tonight if you've been watching on MyBasin.com. They allowed us to, uh, well, get the rights for tonight's game from the OSAA and bring it to you for free this evening. So special thanks to the Lost River Booster Club there. If you want to go back and watch a replay of this game or any of the other games that we've covered this season on MyBasin.com, you could do it. MyBasin.com is your home for everything going on in the Klamath Basin, whether it's news, sports, special events, or, well, frankly, anything else. Find it online at MyBasin.com. Once again, the final score for you tonight, Lost River 58 Perrydale 44. The Raiders are going to the Elite Eight. For Matt Bowling, I'm Josh Eldred saying good night from Merrill, Oregon.